Hey, what's up everyone? Look at me, I'm alive. Um, I got something new. It's a new 3D printer. I know, it's exciting. Let's do this. So this is gonna be an unboxing video. So this is gonna be an unboxing video of the Folger Tech Castle 2020 with auto bed leveling or something like that. Um, Full disclosure, Folger Tech actually sent me this um, to review and make a couple videos on, so there will be a, a bunch of videos in the future on this specific printer. Um, but this is just going to be the unboxing. I just got it in the mail like 20 minutes ago. Um, I'm going to unbox it, look at all the parts and everything like that. And um, I'm probably not going to do an assembly video just because I don't want to sit here for 10 hours trying to make a video on assembly. Um, but I will have videos on setup and stuff like that, which is um, what um, John Folger actually asked me to do. So kudos to them. Thank you guys for sending me this printer. Um, I will do my best to make as good of videos as I possibly can. Anyway, let's do this. First things first, I need my glasses because I can't see without them. Second off, look at my phone. Third off, you need a cool knife. Yeah, cool knives, they make everything cooler. Anyway, I don't think you'll be able to see my address or anything. There. Now you'll never see my address. <laughs> um, FedEx delivered this. This box weighs like a little bit of weight. Um, it's like 10, 15 pounds or something, I don't know. Anyway, let's open this jelly. Never cut towards you, unless you're experienced. Yeah! See, they sent me a giant box of cardboard. This feels like 3D printed, or it might, it might actually be plastic parts, but this is a bag of 3D printed parts. These look nice. Cool. This is a bag of something, I'll figure that out later. It feels like plastic parts or something like that that might not be, uh, it might not be plastic part or 3D printed parts. Um, spacers, spool mounts. That's cool, they got a spool mount. Cool. End stop mounts, yeah, this looks like it's different mounts and stuff. That's cool. Uh, this is the uh, ramps. Um, this is the Arduino. Um, a couple end stops, USB cable. And it's got that cool uh, plastic screwdriver thing. Which is good because I broke mine from my other printer. So that's awesome. I needed one of those. More paper. Ooh, look at that. This is something. This looks like more aluminum extrusion. Yes, probably. This is the bed, I can already tell. Heated bed and thermistor with wire. Look at that, it's perfect. This is, oh my god, stepper motors. Look at all the stepper motors. Let's see, it's a bunch of those and an E motor. Oh, the extruder, okay. So the extruder motor is actually bigger, which is cool. All right. What else do we got? Um, Sensor and tie rod end set. Oh, this is for the auto bed leveling stuff, which is what one of my main videos is going to be. Um, when I talked to uh, Mr. Folger, I'm assuming is his name, that's what his email said, um, he said that a lot of people were having problems with the auto bed leveling, and so I'm going to be making a video in the near future about how to set that up, and um, maybe that'll make it onto their website, or there'll be a link or something like that, because hopefully that'll work. I just realized that I'm sitting off to the left-hand side and the microphone's in stereo, so... Hmm, I might have to fix that in post. Cool. Anyway. Bowden extruder! That's cool, because I've never had a Bowden extruder. Um, my... the one on the Prus is direct drive. More kept on tape. I have a bunch of kept on tape. I need more! Um... What else? A metric shit ton of screws and bolts and washers and everything. Wow, that's cool. Just a bag of hardware. 
I love that. What else is in here? Power cable. Hey, look. Okay. This was my biggest gripe about the Prusa kit when I got it. Is the power cable that they gave you was this really, really crappy, like... It was almost that fabric wire, like the really, really thin wire, and it was almost impossible to solder. So I actually had to take one of these cables from, because uh, I have a collection of cables. I had to get one of um, these power cables that I had and use the wires because the ones that they gave me were just, they were really bad. I couldn't solder or anything. It would just melt the actual stranded wire. So this looks like it's a lot better quality. Um, of course, I'll find out when I when I do a review. Full review of this printer will be in the future um, once I've used it a little bit. Um, I'll probably also make a comparison video on uh, between this and the Prusa. That way, if someone's looking between getting one or the other, they will know. Filament. Ooh, cool. Red filament. I have red filament, but you know. Uh, a bunch of wire. That was another thing. Is um, I didn't quite have enough wire when I built mine. Um, when I built the Prusa. Um, the although I did lay out the power supply and all the end stops and everything in a in a way that isn't the way that they wanted you to do it originally, so I was luckily I was able to just take some wire that I already had and use that. But um, it looks like they got a bunch of wire in here. I love the packaging. And I love how everything's labeled. That's really nice. Um, quality stuff from Folger Technologies LLC. Link will be in the description to their website, but. They didn't even have a website when I bought my Prusa, so that tells you how far they've come in about a, over about a year or so. Um, timing belts and uh, you know the stepper pulleys and all that. What else? Aluminum extrusions. This is eighty twenty. Looks like eighty twenty. This stuff's awesome. I've used this before on. Uh, Robots! Anyone watching that was involved with FIRST Robotics back in high school, or maybe even middle school if, you know, you had a lucky enough middle school? Uh, we used this on the robot all the time, this 8020 stuff. Aluminum extrusions, and it made the robot awesome and strong and light. Because if you, if you were in FIRST Robotics, you know that 120 pound weight limit. That was the worst. So, instead of using steel, using aluminum was awesome. What is this? This is just more steel, or aluminum. What the hell are these? Um, it's a threaded rod with some other thing. This looks like some. It almost looks like carbon fiber rods, to be honest. I don't know. We'll figure that out eventually. I haven't looked at any like parts list or anything, so don't be mad if I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've never put together one of these things. This almost looks like cable management stuff. I don't know. And the power supply, 360 watt. That should be fine. And that's everything. So, if assuming I have everything, which I imagine I do. Someone in the comments, Laying out all the parts and everything, it's called something. It's got a specific name, and I can't think of it right now. Comment in the comments with what that's called. I know what it is. As someone who builds stuff all the time. I know that word, but I can't think of it right now. So yeah, this is uh, everything. Aluminum extrusion, aluminum extrusion, whatever these plastic bits, and there's one threaded rod, and I don't know. Um, aluminum extrusion, wire kit, heated bed, uh, sensor and tie rod inset, mounting stuff, uh, 3D printed parts, bound extruder kit, the ramps and the Arduino, uh, power supply, more aluminum base I think, um, hardware kit, stepper motors, <sighs> timing belt, that's what that is, and uh, a little bit of filament. Of course, I probably won't use any of this just because I have a bunch of filament, but you know. It's whatever. Knife doesn't come with it. Too bad, because this is a cool knife. OTF knife. Buy these on online. They're cool. Don't carry them, though. I think they're illegal in some states. To carry, not to own. Um, anyway. So yeah, this is the laid out kit. Um, I'm now going to spend the rest of my life building this. 
and uh, I won't document it. Maybe like you know, maybe I'll have a build log or something like that. But this is going to be the beginning of a new printer. Now I'm going to have two. I don't have anywhere to put it yet, so that's going to be fun. But anyway, if you want, wait, I look ugly. <laughs> if you're excited to see some Castle videos, leave a like. That way I know that you guys want to see more Castle videos. Um, if you're new, subscribe and you'll get all the new updates for new videos and all that kind of stuff. If you've been one of the people who've subscribed forever, thanks guys. I'm like at 153 or something like that right now, which is awesome. I've grown a lot since when I made my first Bruiser video. At that time I think I had like seven subscribers when I made that first video, so a little over, almost a year today, more or less. Like a year this week is when I made that first Bruiser video, so. That's exciting that I've grown quite a bit since then. Um, yeah, just, just like a little bit and look for more videos in the future. This is a new camera, by the way, and I have my window open. So anyway, um, yeah, follow me on Twitter, too. If you ever have any questions or anything about 3D printer stuff, follow me on Twitter. There's a link in the description. If you um, tag me in that or even direct message me on Twitter, it's a lot easier for me to get to you than YouTube comments or even uh, YouTube direct messaging. If you send me a direct message on, you on YouTube, it'll probably take me a while to get to it because I don't get notified for those and I don't check them often. So sometimes I'll go to check and some dude sent me a, a, a question from like six months ago and I'm like, I'm sorry, but I don't check them often. <laughs> And comments I usually can get to, um, but, you know, it depends. It's sometimes I'm notified, sometimes I'm not, and I just have to check the video and see. Also, sometimes people have their settings to where if they comment on a video, you can't reply to them. So sometimes people will ask me questions and I can't actually reply to it and answer them. So check those settings um, if you don't know. I don't know where it is, but, you know, that kind of thing. Just make sure, because I can't do it. Um, but yeah, Twitter is the best way to get to me um, over social media. I'm, I get notified for everything that happens, so that's the easiest way to get to me. Anyway, I'm going to go do this. You guys sit back, hold tight, and wait for some videos. Anyway, I'll see you all later.